We need to update you now on a story that broke last night regarding negotiations between the A's and the city of Oakland for a lease extension past 2024 at the Coliseum. All of this comes ahead of what is a third scheduled meeting between the two sides upcoming on April 2nd. Casey Pratt of KGO Television in San Francisco and ESPN are reporting these terms of an official offer sheet to be presented and what the city will be looking for in a deal with the team. For starters, it would be a five year lease extension through 2029 with an opt out after year three at the Coliseum. Now that would allow the A's a seamless transition to Las Vegas for their proposed 2028 debut at the Tropicana site. But it would also protect the A's for two years after that, considering any delays that might arise with construction in Nevada. Now rent at the Coliseum, it would go way up. The A's are currently only paying a little over $1 million per season here at the conclusion of this current 10 year agreement. That number goes up to approximately $19.4 million per year starting in 2025. And if it were to be a full five year commitment, the city would collect $97 million in total. The A's would also have to sell their share of 50% of the Coliseum land to a local developer. The team bought half that site from Alameda County for the bargain price of $85 million back in 2019 as a self-described backup option to, quote, assure that the A's would never leave Oakland. Oakland will also be asking for an exclusive one-year time span to work with Major League Baseball to produce a turnkey ownership group and a shovel-ready site that's suitable for an expansion franchise with Major League Baseball. If that's not agreeable by the league, the city will ask to keep the A's team name and colors in Oakland or facilitate the sale of the current A's franchise to an existing local ownership group. The A's would also have to share the Coliseum in season with the Oakland Roots and sole professional soccer clubs and pay for conversion costs from soccer to baseball configurations. Now that does sound like a lot of requests, but all of that would secure the A's playing in their current Major League Baseball approved facility, and it would avoid the needed approvals to call a minor league ballpark home for three seasons, and it would continue the A's current media rights partnerships, including one with this very network, NBC Sports California. Oakland's Mayor Shang Tao said, quote, I remain committed to doing everything in my power to keep the A's in Oakland. The terms we have proposed for a lease extension at the Coliseum are clear, reasonable, and achievable. Having Major League Baseball in Oakland is what is best for the owners, the league, the players, and most importantly, the fans." End quote. And then Lee Hansen, Chief of Staff of the City of Oakland, told ESPN, quote, "...the city is putting forward a very reasonable deal. We don't think there's a poison pill in this deal. We feel this is an accomplishable goal, and we're going forward understanding we have a short window to execute." End quote. For proper context, all of this comes just a few days after San Francisco Chronicle reports that the A's had been making significant progress with Sacramento and their minor league team, the Rivercats, to share Sutter Health Park for three temporary seasons before transitioning to Las Vegas. Again, that next meeting between the A's and Oakland, still scheduled for this Tuesday, April 2nd, sure does seem like something decisive one way or another will present itself shortly after that date.